book that I started over a week ago. I might just be able to finally finish it. Lately, I've been feeling less tired after each day or surveillance. Tonight I'm feeling a lot more relaxed than usual. Carefree even. It's probably because some of that sense of foreboding I had has dissipated now. I'm pretty sure the worries has passed. You pretty again. She really likes nice in a like ponytail. She looks cute. But then again, I've been wrong about this before. I shouldn't stop my sir. What? Oh, it's my phone? Will I ever get used to the thing? Let's see now. Don't tell me she got my number in some fucking crazy way because if she did, I will be like, wh how, why, and how, how, how is the most important question if this would be Lillian. Could be something important. I should take it. Yes. Oh my god, it's really her! How? Damn god, how did you do this, woman? You're just a college student. How? <laughs> Your father didn't have my phone number either. Or did he? Oh, he did. God damn it. Uh, I Ina, it's me, L Lillian? Bloody hell, where did you even get this number from? I, I told me, Matt, I, uh, I got it from my dad's phone. Lillian, that's wrong on so many levels. You can't go snooping around other people's personal belongings. You can't go... <sighs> Never mind. She's amazing, Lillian is really. She's. Um, alright, I just wanted to talk to you. You just. I want to ask you about that thing. You know, going for coffee? Let's go tomorrow. Although I don't like coffee very much. But let's go anyway. We can just choose whatever we want there. An outing with Lillian tomorrow. Huh. I don't see why not. Okay, Lillian, let's go tomorrow. All right. Good night, Ina. Good night. Okay, I have an early start tomorrow as well. I should get some sleep now. I think I might be looking forward to tomorrow. See, she's getting a friend. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of my choices. And making Ina's life a better one. Unless this will fire back at me soon, but I hope it won't. For some reason. Class is let out a couple of minutes ago, but the Bejo is nowhere to be seen. I guess Lillian told her father about her plans for the day. And there she is now. She seems pretty excited as she runs my way. I step out of a car and stand there uncertainly waiting. Suddenly, feeling unsure of what to do with my hands, I simply stick one into my pocket and let the other dangle loose in my side. Ina, hey! Hello, Lillian. Um, let's go then? Yeah, come on! She grabs hold my free hand and starts pulling me towards the cafe. Uh, I stare her hand, feeling a little flustered. Not sure of what to do, I just go with it. Lillian is focused straight ahead. They have this parfait here that you've just got to try. Lillian, where are your friends today? Friends? Oh, them? Yeah, I told them I had other plans today. Uh, I told my dad that you'd throw me off. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. As soon as step through the door, the same cafe as ever. Come on, that table right there. Lamp begins taking me toward the center of the cafe. 
uh, yeah, wouldn't one of the corner doubles be better? I mean, it would be out of the way. What? No way! This is definitely the best table. The light here is perfect. You have a good view of the Shintike stores, the displays. <laughs> the way this girl thinks is so simple. Somehow it's always interesting to watch. What are you smiling about? Huh? Ah, oh, nothing. You like um, eating here? Well, obviously. Yeah, I do. They have the best variety here. Oh, in quality too. There's just one other place I know that can top this cafe. Although that's a little... Uh... But anyway, let's see it. Right. She finally lets go my hand and I quickly pull it back to my side. We sit across from each other at table of her choice. I pick up the menu I printed to start it, all the while avoiding Lilia's inquisitive gaze. Once she starts firing away questions, it's pretty hard to make her stop. Um, Ina? Hmm? Uh, I don't know where to start. I want to know more about you. A lot more. For starters, how long have you been doing this? Bodyguarding. Is that what you call it? I think it's pretty cool. I, uh... Hey, Lily. What will it be today? Uh, it's the waitress. Thank goodness for her timing. Though I know my relief is only momentary. Ren, you're still working here? When she talking about leaving soon? Len, this waitress seemed to be acquainted, which isn't surprising considering how often Lillian comes here. Yeah, this is probably my last day here. She gives a nod my direction before returning back to Lillian. Hmm? She turns back to me, a question look on her face. Do I know you? Um, wait, isn't she? Oh, that's right. Recognition downs on her face. I've seen you in here before. She's the waitress who served me when I followed Lillian in here at one time. So, you know Lily, huh? Um, yeah, I guess. Lily, they're on nickname basis? Psst, Ina, that must be from when you were the... Yeah, exactly, that must have been when we met. Lillian's whispering seemed to be more forever rather than any actual purpose. Right, nice to meet you, Ina. Likewise. Okay, here's why I watched. Lian calls for Ren's attention between specifying various items on a menu. I have a feeling a lot of that will be going to waste. Got it. And what will you have? Ren turns back to me. Oh, and I will have the vicious vanilla parfait. Ren rises and neighbor with me. Yeah, I'll have a... Yeah, I have that. Got it. She jots down our orders on a small pad. Glancing my way once last time, she spins around his back to the counter. What is it? Mm, oh, nothing. I turn my attention back to Lillian. Lillian, you need to pick Lily. What? Call me Lily. That's what my friends call me. Oh, I see. Okay. Anyway, you need to be careful about what you say around other people. Um, people can't know, you know, they can know about what I do. Okay, I understand. I don't think she does. Yeah, she doesn't look like she understands. <laughs> Uh, told your friends about what happened? What? No, no way. Well, yeah, I, but nothing specific. I didn't mention you at all. I, I was discreet about it. Mm. 
It sure didn't look that way to me. What's the big deal anyway? I mean, it's called being bodyguard and all. Why does it matter if people find out? This line of work, it can get messy. You saw that for yourself, right? It's just better like this. I don't want any trouble. Alright. I won't bring it up again in front of people. Thanks. Actually, I would prefer if she didn't bring it up at all, but that's probably hoping for to match. Hey, Ina? Yeah? Um, have you been doing this long, this bodyguard thing? Oh, no, not that long, actually. So, so how old are you? How old am I? That's an odd question. Should I tell her my real age? Well, there's no reason to lie about it. 22. Oh, 22? I can't really tell what she's thinking from her expression. I realize I'm suddenly a little anxious. Why? Um, no reason. You look older, you know. Oh, but in the good way, you look sophisticated. I thought you were like older, like 25 or something. Uh, I see. Lolian is probably 17 or 18 herself. Come to think of it, I don't even know what year she is in. I'm going to be 18 soon, so we're about the same age, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. No, we're really not. I actually understand that so badly. Oh my god, when I because I'm like in a age and when I remember myself from like four years ago, oh my this was so oh so bad. I was so bad. It's actually a really big gap between like when you're in high school and when you like go out in high school and go into life. It's really a big gap. So I can't understand what Ina means here. Where did you go to college? College, I... Uh... Oh, you probably didn't go there, otherwise you wouldn't be doing it. I glanced towards the counter. I don't think I'm lucky enough to get another timely intervention. I'm doing it again, aren't I? Hmm? Asking too many questions. I'm probably being bothersome. No, it's fine. I play with the end of my knee. You're right. I didn't go to college. I uh, just had my father with the family business. And that's all I know how to do now. That sounds tough. It's not that bad, really. I was able to get an early start with the working world. The work is a little irregular, but I get paid pretty well. Last smiles and leans forward. Mm, that's good then. Is it tough your work that is? <sighs> Sometimes. Yeah, like at the beginning of the game we saw how tough it is. Really tough. Things can get complicated. I try my best not to let that happen, but sometimes it can be avoided. It's unpredictable. Leon doesn't seem to be paying attention, she's looking at... I like your hands, they look so... Uh, delicate despite your work. She takes my hand in hers and brings it closer to her face. Oh my god, oh my god. that's kind of weird to do. I turn it back on reflex. Sorry for a wait, guys. Here your uh, is everything all right? Run returns with our orders, and just a moment too late. Uh, thanks. Yeah, everything's fine. <laughs>